Sarhan Harapalu joins us now. He's a CGTN Global Economics Analyst and CEO at Barry. First, I want to get the big takeaways that you found from President Xi's keynote uh, address as the Belt and Road Forum opened. I think every uh, question that the Western uh, countries had their, in their minds uh, up until that point was answered yesterday because uh, the president talked about the debt issue, he talked about transparency, as well as the organizational issue that BRI actually had suffered in the past couple of years. And I think that was very important to hear for especially the IMF um, and other international banks. And it was delivered on that day and the set the tone, uh, the mood, uh, and I think the, the next couple of days also was positive because of that. Transparency and also access access to Chinese markets. How important was that? So what he did was actually, uh, when I first heard this speech, he brought the issue of the trade conflict into the BRI as well. That was a really well-crafted statement. Uh, so opening the domestic market was a very important thing. He didn't have to bring it in that on the Thursday address. He did that. And of course, uh, getting other banks, other companies, uh, international investors into the BRI was a very important thing for China because, as you know, the economy is slowing down there. Foreign exchange reserves were not what it used to be about four trillion five, six years ago. Now it's about three trillion. So they do need foreign investment coming in, and I think uh, that set the tone. Of course, you have the head of the IMF there and, and the United Nations as well. What about growth? Um, there was talk of green growth, green, sustainable quality. You also mentioned quality. Um, what does that speak to? I think it, it shows that the, the focus is changing because there, th this type of project has been going on and within the BRI, but the number has not increased dramatically. I think the new projects that are coming in will be focused on that. And that's why the 12 international banks as well as 13 from Hong Kong and the, in the region signed up for it because they understand now it is about the quality. There has been too much money chasing too uh, little productivity in terms of overall BRI projects, but, uh, but it's changing now, and that's going to invite more foreign investment. Big roundtable discussions uh, just ahead, expected to start here in just a little bit. What will you be watching for in these discussions as this forum wraps to an end? I think, again, the focus is the, the questions that are going to come up with from the Western participants would be about the debt transparency and organizational issues. And I think a little more detail, uh, and that's the whole purpose of this, uh, the last um, session, uh, is warranted at this point. And the reason that I'm saying that is because the debt issue has become a sour point with the countries that have been receiving the money. Uh, we've seen it in Malaysia, we've seen it in Sri Lanka, Maldives, a lot of examples are out there. But the transparency issue has also been addressed, and the central bank said today, and I think they're going to focus on that today too, they're actually going to look at the total debt load of countries now. They'll look at the local currency requirements, reserves that the countries will have, and the loans that they will receive will be based on that, which is a huge, huge progress in my book. All right, uh, final day of the Belt and Road Forum wrapping up. Sarhan, thanks for, for joining Pleasure us. Pleasure to be here.